already. Yes. Uh, good morning and welcome to the uh, public session of the Pennsylvania Commission on Human. Uh, oh, oh my, great start for me <laughs> of the Philadelphia Commission on, on Human Relations uh, August uh, public meeting. I am Rebecca Alpert. I'm substituting today for our chair, uh, Shalimar Thomas, who is unable to, to be with us. Uh, we will begin with the approval of the minutes for the July meeting. Uh, do I hear any questions or uh, concerns or? Okay, so um, we will uh, then adopt the minutes as uh, presented for July. <clears throat> Our uh, next item is the uh, approval of uh, in cases that were investigated by staff and recommended for closing. Um, I will read the cases and then take any recusals or um, abstentions, and then we will uh, put the uh, closings to a vote. Case number one, Melissa M. Williams versus the city of Philadelphia. These are, I'm sorry, we begin with employment cases. Case number two, Sean M. Paws versus the city of Philadelphia. Case number three, Roger Rose versus System Council number seven of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and Arthur Davidson individually. Case number four, Daniel Angelis versus the Philadelphia Housing Authority. Case number five, Christopher Clark versus Sunoco Inc. Case number six, Regina Blackwell versus ShopRite of Whitman Plaza. Case number seven, Mickey Baker versus the Philadelphia Sheriff's Office. Case number eight, Sharita R. Copper versus Cheltenham Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. Uh, case number nine, Jasmine Thomas versus Whole Foods Market Group Incorporated. Case number 10, James S. Williams versus the city, uh, James S. Williams Jr., excuse me, versus the city of Philadelphia. Case number 11, John Wise versus Prajna Strategy LLC and Kristen Clark and uh, Cheryl Heller. Case number 12, Catherine Holland versus Pennsylvania Hospital. Uh, one housing case, Alexis Nettles versus Henry on the Park, JCLB, uh, DBA Morgan Properties. And one Ban the Box case, uh, Maurizio Aguilar versus Comcast Cable Communications Holdings Incorporated. Um, do we have any recusals or abstentions? Uh, yes, Regina. I, I would abstain from uh, employment case number 12, Holland versus Pennsylvania Hospital. Thank you. Um, uh, is everything else uh, set? Then uh, can I call for a motion to accept the case closings? Commissioner Austin um, called for the closing of the cases and Commissioner Lorin seconded the motion. Um, all in favor of the case closings? Um, Commissioner Thomas, I can't see you. Are you voting? Um, yeah, I actually tried to chime in and offer the, the motion, so I am in support. Thank you. Thanks very much. Sorry, it's really hard on the screen. Um, so all in favor, any, um, we, we got our abstention, any negative votes? Okay, so the cases that were investigated and recommended for closing uh, are, are passed for the month of August. We now uh, move to our executive director's report. Um, take it away, executive director Gee. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Alpert. Uh, I will begin with updates related to compliance. Uh, we, in July, we had our annual FIPA training with the EEOC. Uh, that's the Federal uh, Partnership Agency training. And that was July 19th through the 21st. And the compliance leadership, including myself, Deputy Director uh, Pamela Gwaltney, and Principal Attorney Karen Foreman attended this training, which centered on ensuring an equitable path uh, forward. Uh, some of the important updates that we uh, discussed pertain to federal anti-discrimination uh, laws for employment with a particular focus on LGBTQ uh, communities and issues uh, facing Native Americans. 
in terms of community engagement, prevention, and education, on July 21st, we had the final session of our three-part series for the Black and Gold Leadership Bootcamp. Um, and that was held at the Shofusu House in uh, Fairmount Park. The series invited appointed comm commissioners and uh, community leaders to come together and dialogue about the topic of Black and Asian uh, community relations. Through the series, participants were guided through discussions that allowed them to learn more about each other and um, empowered them to take the principles into their respective communities to engage and dialogue uh, and understand each other better. Our community um, HR reps were instrumental throughout the process, and those were uh, Abigail Sue, uh, Boone Ratmat, Carlos Avales, Mercano, and David Oliver. Uh, we'd also like to thank our other partners within the city of Philadelphia who helped facilitate those series. Uh, next, um, just wanted to let you all know that throughout the first week of August, our community relations team focused on prevention activities, such as the uh, night, out, night out markets, uh, back to school and police district uh, block parties. Uh, through those events, our reps distributed information regarding PCHR's uh, community services, including dispute resolution programming, um, the fair chance hiring laws, as well, well as, I'm sorry, as well as fair housing information. Uh, on August 3rd, uh, um, HR Rep David Oliver and myself participated in a peace walk uh, in the Point Breeze section of Philadelphia uh, that was organized by council member Kenyatta Johnson's office in response to um, the murder of a resident of South Philadelphia. Uh, Throughout that event, we um, distributed information about our uh, dispute resolution services to residents um, as we were in the neighborhood. On August 11th, uh, HR Rep Carlos Abales uh, participated in the 24th District's annual block party, and he uh, distributed information about the program as well as um, offered some of his barbecuing skills uh, during the event. So a uh, fun time was had. On August 12th, uh, I attended and participated in the Office of Black Male Engagement and the Office of Youth Engagement's Keep Your Head Up event, which was an artistic and multi-dimensional uh, creative opportunity for folks to share stories and insights about ways that the city can address uh, public safety issues through art. Uh, in terms of conflict response, uh, our HR representative, Tiara Thompson, is working with uh, Councilwoman Gautier to mediate an ongoing uh, neighborhood conflict in West Philadelphia near the uh, Sayre High School. In terms of uh, events for this uh, reporting period, on June 27th, uh, I participated along with other city leaders uh, in the Department of Justice's press conference at the Malcolm X Memorial Park, which announced a redlining settlement um, reached with Trident Mortgages. The settlement ensures that significant leading, uh, lending resources will be infused into neighborhoods of color in and around Philadelphia. And um, it specifically targets those who have been uh, historically experiencing racial discrimination and redlining. I joined along with other federal partners and state partners to send a message that um, housing discrimination will not be tolerated in Philadelphia. Um, as you all know, uh, um, we had a University of Pennsylvania fell student, Allende Merrill, working uh, with the agency to uh, look at practices related to housing appraisal discrimination. On August 2nd, he concluded his work with the agency and provided a comprehensive uh, list of resources and recommendations for the agency to focus on education and outreach, data collection, uh, legislative policies, and um, ways that we could uh, strengthen the uh, network of appraisers in Philadelphia to include anti-discrimination and bias training. 
On August 6th, uh, Deputy Director Brandy Duque spoke at the Celebrate Asia Festival for PICO's Multicultural Series, um, which was sponsored by the Mayor's Commission on Asian Pacific American Affairs. He spoke about the importance of dialogue and celebration to promote understanding and combat anti-Asian hate uh, here in Philadelphia. August 14th through 18th, which was just this week, uh, our PCHR leadership team attended the, the uh, 2022 International Association of Official Human Rights Agencies Conference in Los Angeles, California. Uh, this year's focus was on uh, creating a unified vision for equity and justice. Uh, we were excited and engaged in that opportunity to share resources and um, looking forward to partnering with other human rights agencies throughout the United States to um, strengthen the, the community supports and anti-discrimination specifically as it relates to systemic, um, systemic racism and um, issues related to systemic injustice. Uh, in terms of upcoming events on August 22nd, we will be partnering with the Office of Public Engagement and other city leaders to engage in a community conversation uh, regarding the city's uh, approach and response to gun violence. Uh, the series will be offered to all uh, appointed commissioners so that they will have a better understanding of the city's strategy and be able and empowered to, to share that information with uh, the communities that they represent. On September 21st, I will also be participating in the Peace Day Philly program, which will occur at the City Hall North Apron and speaking on the importance of ending racism as a way to build peace. Lastly, just wanted to share uh, some information about the hate and bias data that we've been collecting for this month. We had seven confirmed incidents of hate or bias of those, well, one was uh, politically motivated, one was anti-Semitic, two pertain to race, uh, specifically uh, AAPI um, slurs and other just general racist uh, language that was contained in a letter uh, for a department store. There were also three uh, anti-LGBTQ related hate incidents uh, that occurred this month. Uh, year to date, we have had 70 confirmed incidents of hate or bias um, reported to the agency. We continue to monitor uh, hate and bias incidents as they are reported and offer supports to the community as necessary. And with that, I will turn it back over to you, Commissioner Alpert. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, it was, um, <clears throat> it's always sobering to listen to those reports. Um, anybody have any questions that they uh, have for, for um, uh, Executive Director Gee or questions uh, of any other sort? Without them then, uh, can I uh, entertain a motion for adjournment? I see uh, again, Commissioner Lorin with a second from Commissioner Austin. And um, I know Commissioner Thomas would agree because- I, I would agree. <laughs> I can't see you, but I hear you. Um, I so um, can I just have a hand vote with the rest of us uh, all in favor of adjournment? Thank you very much. Those of you who are in Los Angeles, I hope you get some good rest today. And um, thank, thank you for being there on our behalf. And uh, we will see you at the, um, the, let's see the commissioners at the executive session uh, for September on, the, on September 9th. And our public session will be held on September 16th. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Have a good day. Everyone have a good weekend.